Hello everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in this lecture, I'm going to discuss with you what are some skills required for coding. If you want to learn to code, what skills you should have or these are some general skills. I'm not going to discuss these you know, skills or these habits more precisely if I say these are habits. These are really helpful in your real life also, not in just coding, in your real life. You should have these habits, right? So maybe for some students, skill is like a high level uh, word. So they are like, oh my God, skills. No, these are some habits, general habits. I'm not going to discuss these points, these habits from the perspective of those programming languages or tech aspects. No, these are general habits. I think everybody is having these kind of habits. So if you are having these habits, definitely you can be a good coder. You can learn coding, right? So now, first thing is you should be curious. Like whenever you see something, you have questions in your mind, right? It's not like that, uh, uh, like if you are, you know, uh, going to any shopping websites, how those uh, shopping websites are working. Whenever you go to your Gmail account, you fill your user ID, your password. Whenever you click that login button, your Gmail ID will be opened. How this is working? What is the process behind the scene? You are interested in behind the process. What is going on behind the scene? Not whatever you can see, like whenever, you, you know any uh, faculty teach you any topic so you are curious about that thing it's not like that they are teaching okay fine ma'am we got it no you should have the capability you should have the capability of you know cross questioning you should be curious at that time like whenever uh, let's take a simple example whenever uh, any concept i am teaching like arrays i am teaching the, then your first question would be why arrays why we are studying arrays these kind of questions you should be curious like if you are playing any game computer game you should have in you know in your mind that how someone has written you know uh, the code how you are able to play those games what is you know behind the scene i also want to make these kind of games or if you are working any if you are using any app like paytm how this app is working any shopping website how the, these apps are working right so are you having this capability like are you curious or someone will tell you this thing okay fine someone will tell you this thing okay fine you are not curious about anything right so if you want to learn coding if you want to be a good coder then definitely you have to be curious right and this habit will ultimately lead to what critical thinking skill logical thinking skill analytical skill and these skills are required obviously if you want to learn coding you should think logically you should have critical thinking right if i will say in that tech aspects or i i you i you know if i use those bigger terms but this will ultimately lead to those skills first of all you have a habit of this you should be curious second very important point is what patience you should have patience nowadays maybe you are you think that everybody wants to learn everything quickly but it's not like that you can learn coding in just 21 days it's not that kind of habit it needs practice years of practice actually for a, to be a good coder right so you have to be patient you just have to calm down you have to be very focused right towards your whatever you are doing whatever you are learning right because whenever you start learning coding many times you will get depressed you will feel demoralized right you will feel like i can't do coding i'm not able to write down a sing, simple program how will I, I i'll write those uh, you know complicated type of programs or da those data structure program how I'll, how I'll make a software or these kind of things okay slowly you will do that those things also but at starting everybody is going to you no know, everybody go through that phase if someone is a good coder right now they have also started from zero right they were also at that level and if you will have patience obviously you will not give up easily right and that is very much required skill if you want to learn coding right because it's not easy to learn how to code right yeah obviously it would be a tough process at starting you will do definitely you will do silly mistakes like while writing header file you will write studio.h not stdio.h and when you will check the program i'm damn sure you will not able to find out those single those simple errors those silly mistake and then you will get frustrated you will not able to read those error messages like which kind of error is this in which line this is the error and this is also a skill to read those error messages find out yeah in this line this is the error 
that is also a skill and it also required practice right but at starting you will not able to find out a simple error right but yeah it happens with everyone just practice just keep patience calm down focus if you are frustrated take a break then again write code that is the only way there is no shortcut right third thing which is very important is you should be self motivated person see here i am writing self motivated it's not like that you are that kind of student who are watching those um, motivational videos to get motivation right you have to be a self motivated person because many times at starting you will feel demotivated how many times you will watch those motivated motivational videos and you will just waste your time no see if you are really interested in coding if you think that if you have the idea what is the benefit of coding how coding can improve your life your you know in real life also that coding skill is very much helpful that also we can discuss in a separate video but you have to be a self motivated person it's not like that just watch the motivational video and get motivation after 10 days again watch motivational videos and for 2 days get get you know get motivated no if you are interested in learning if you are interested in coding no external motivation would be required to keep learning that is for damn sure it's not for coding only anything for anything if you are interested in that do doing that thing no external motivation would be required for doing for learning right if you are really interested so you have to be a self motivated person for that next is uh you have the you know ability to sit at one place for at least like 2 to 3 hours at least for 2 to 3 hours in starting right after that you can obviously after that if you are interested you will automatically will you know uh, will sit for 3 or 4 hours or 6 hours a day and 7 hours or, or a day and you you enjoy i'm damn sure you will enjoy that thing but at starting maybe some students are like you know they are not able to sit in front of computer for you know half an hour so you have to make this habit yes you can sit in front of your computer for 2 to 3 hours or at least for you know uh, one and half hour in starting and you can write down some code so this is also required the skill right next is what you have this attitude self learning attitude it's not like that always there would be someone to teach you whenever any new technology come or whenever any new language you want to learn there is somebody to teach you you will get notes you will get video tutorials properly you will you know you will be spoon fed it no technology is changing rapidly so you have to be a self learner right to learn those changing technologies this skill is also very important self learning skill nobody is going to teach you how to code yeah, like sit i'll teach you how to code write down this program write down this program this is there that is there no you have to sit you have to practice you have to find out the resources from where you can learn from google from any youtube videos you can you have to read documentation you have to go to that maybe for projects maybe for on github you have to go to that stack overflow you have to ask questions you have to do everything yourself if you want to be a good coder so this attitude is also very important self learning attitude so see some students blame your you know their faculties that they don't teach you well so at some point of time it's a maybe you can also think is a plus point for you then you learn yourself and that will increase your self learning ability and that would also be and it's not for coding nowadays every student should have self learning attitude right if you want to learn any new technology obviously in college they'll teach you right but after that when you will go to industry when you will go to job technology is changing rapidly after every you know 2 to 3 year 5 year 10 year so if you want to be you know in that industry for a long then if you want to get promoted then obviously you have to increase your skills your skill set your skill set so you have to learn new technologies yourself there will be no one to teach you right so i think these are some basics and general habits or you can say skills 
or maybe more precisely if I say th this will help you if you want to learn coding or if you have these uh, habits you can say that yeah I can learn coding I can be a good coder right but these are general skills not for coding every student I think should have these type of skills I am not saying that for coding only these are required but if you do anything in your life I guess definitely everyone should have these skills fine and see I haven't taught any obvious you know skill that is obviously if you want to write down some code obviously you 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 know some programming language right otherwise you can't write down code and that is something like if I say I'm hungry or koi kuch ye kahega ki you should eat something isme kya naya bata diya usme so if you want to learn if you want to code de de definitely you need some programming language usme kuch naya nahi hai those are obvious points so those I haven't discussed I have at starting only I have told you I'll discuss some general habits only right so I guess if, if I, I, I have left uh, with something you can tell me in comment box and if you want me to make these kind of videos more you can tell me in comment box you can write down like on which topic I should make videos. So now that's it for this video I'll see you now in next video till then bye bye take care.